So for today, I'm going to be bringing you another installment of Zer's Exotic Dare. This one is going to be 11, and this one's pretty fun considering two uh, two classes got the same exotic technically. Uh, this is going to be fun just because I've had a lot of fun with this one, actually. Not going to lie, the Hunters came really fast to me. The Titans was the, ch the one that was most challenging to me, and the Warlock was a lot of fun as well. So if you guys like this, these type of videos, if you guys like the exotic there, uh, I would love to see yours. Uh, hit me up on Twitter or Instagram. Those two are the ones that I'm pretty active more so instagram that's the one i'm very active in uh not recently just because i've been busy with a lot of stuff but usually i'll post like fashion stuff in there i'll have like a little stuff or a little preview of what i do there but yeah if you guys want to show me your your uh Zer's exotic dare challenge then just hit me up in those but yeah let's uh let's get right into it uh again if you guys like the videos like comment subscribe really does help me and i'll s let's get right into it so for the first one, it's gonna be my hunter. Uh, my hunter came out really, really cool in my opinion. I, w I wanted to really lean into the green, and what better shader than the Gambit Jade Stone? That one's just like the best for that in my opinion, and I think it came out really well. Uh, let's go for the helmet. Helmet, I'm using the Pathfinder's helmet. It's one of my favorite helmets in the game. Uh, just because of how sleek it looks, you look almost, almost royalty, and the eyes have such a great glow in my opinion uh, i was thinking about using other ones specifically like this one right here if i can find it this one the hold fast mask i was thinking about using this one but i didn't like how i couldn't see the helmet <laughs> and honestly i just i'm i just crutch on this helmet a lot it's one of my favorite helmets this week they're selling the aeon swifts and i'm not even that mad about it because these look really cool and i haven't used them in a while so i was pretty happy to see them uh, for the chest piece, we are using the Celestial Cures. This one is... It's, so it's funny, I actually did this by, by by accident. I first did the Empyrean Cartographer Strides, and I was like, oh, I want to use this because it's a lot of green. And I had the Cartographer chest piece on already, and I was like, well, I don't want to use two of these because then at that point, I'm just wearing a whole armor set. And then I remembered, oh, well, you know, Celestial Caress also has the, the star stuff there. And I think it came out really well. I, it's so dope. I absolutely love it. Almost looks like they're part of the same uh, armor set. And then last but not least, we have the Shattered Vault Cloak. So the reason I didn't want to go with a, with a glowy shader, because I could have obviously went with something like this, which is not bad in my opinion. Uh, the glow's not that bad, especially if like this, it's just a little bit here. But I decided to go with this one because A, I like how this looks right here. And B, I didn't want to go like overboard with the glow. I think I already have enough and the cloak would have just been pushing it a little bit over. I also just love how the gray back here complements like literally everything else, specifically the arms. So yeah. Hunters, let me know what you guys think about this set. I actually love it a lot. It's one of my, probably one of my favorites that I've done this month. But yeah, next one is going to be the Titans. And here's my Titan. So this one is like the polar opposite of the Hunter. The Hunter, I really leaned in on the glow. This one, I did not lean in at all. This is more like, it was kind of more of a joke because Jack Arena, as you guys know, Jack Arena is very bad when it comes to shadering. Somehow I got a really good combination going and this is completely by mistake. So let's just get right into it. Helmet, we're using the wild wood helm. This is one of my favorite helms in the game to make my Titan look like bulky or tactical just because again, bulky, there's a flat head here plus tactical because of the, the headset. So this is definitely one of my favorite helmets. I'm happy I have it. There's other ones you could use, obviously, like the other ones. Uh, let me see this one right here and this one right here. But I like this one a lot more just because, uh, A, I already have it unlocked. And this one, I also love this one, but I didn't want the dead orbit symbol. So that's why I chose this one. For the arms, we also have the Aeon safe, which is funny because I, I was just like, all right, both of them, I'll, I'll try to do something. Obviously, I didn't want to do green as well with my Hunter, so I wanted to go something a little bit different. And the reason I'm using the blue is because, as you guys know, Jack Arena tends to be really terrible when it, when it comes to shaders or when it comes to armor pieces. 
as you guys can see like there's some blue there uh i can't find yeah blue right there that's actually a pretty good blow but then you get blues like this where it's like white but there's blue in there like almost blue dust and i kind of wanted to p poke fun at that with the with the glow the chess piece i'm using the siege breaker plate i almost rarely ever use this plate so for me i was like I don't know why I want to use it in this set, but it looks cool combined with the Forge Mechanist uh, Greaves. It looks absolutely amazing. And then this one, Moonfang X7 Mark, just completes it in my opinion. It all looks very industrial, very robotic, and that's what exactly what I was leaning into. Uh, it almost kind of looks like the chess piece, uh, the white, goes all the way down and then you just have plates over it. I absolutely love this look. It looks so dope. Uh, if I were to change it, I would probably, oh man, honestly, I would just love it if this, honestly, I've already said this in other videos, but I would have loved if this chess piece had gone like up to like the back right here and like maybe like this, and then the, the vents would have been like a little bit higher because I don't like that. I don't I don't think Titans look good when their back peak when their back is like super small. I think they work best when they have a ch uh, a chest like this. Just because they look like Titans, they look like they're about to like tank through some shit. This looks dope. I I would say this is also a good choice. It's just that uh I think the Siege Breaker just does a better job at combining the bottom the bottom here and then the top here so that's the titans let me know what you guys think titans did i do you guys justice let me know in the comments below next up is warlock and then i'll give you my final thoughts and last but not least we have the warlock this is gonna be funny considering if for the for the few that you that have been following me for all you guys are gonna know that i'm already using pieces that i crutch on specifically the helmet and the boots but let's just get right into it helmet i'm using the celestial cove just because literally everything else just did not look good with this in my opinion uh, i was thinking about using this one this one definitely looks good with it but i've already used this one in, a, in azure's exotic dare technically i have also used this one but this one's just way better in my opinion this one honestly if it didn't have the bone or let me let me let no 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 if it, if the bone could change shaders this would have been it for sure just because this looks way way better but because the bone doesn't change color i decided not to go with it i also was deciding on going with anemian helmet because anemian helmet does look really cool but if it doesn't have gold on it at all aside from the bottom if the gold was like on this and then the wings i would definitely have you pick this one instead uh the valkyrian hood also was was a choice that i was about to do but again this one has a lot of red and honestly i don't think it fits with this with this even though i in my heart i do know it fits with it but i just didn't like how it, i don't know i'm, I'm confusing uh yeah so those were the choices that i was going with and then i just decided with the celestial cover because it just it never it never does me dirty for the arms i am using the fish the i can't fish gloves fetish gloves i don't know uh the the tish gloves i'm gonna call them i like these a lot just because of the, the lines it looks very regal and that's why i use it on this one because again uh the chess piece we're using is phoenix protocol with the phoenix fall ornament this is the best ornament in the game in my opinion probably the best ornament in the game just because the other ones that it's had it, this looks terrible and then this just looks even more terrible in my opinion so this is the best one that they have for the boots we are using the virtuous boots this is a boot that i crutch on hard but if you were to ask me which other boots I was thinking of, it was the Celestial boots. This one was one I was thinking hard. The Imperium Cartographer was also a helmet or a chest. It was also a boots that I was thinking about. But ultimately, I went with the Virtuous boots just because of the glow. I wanted a little bit more glow um, just because the helmet and the boots plus the little glows here and there really help in my opinion. And then last but not least, I'm using the Street Scholar Bond just because I think it looks really cool. But I also did think, I was thinking about using this one, which I don't think it looks terrible. I just think the other one makes this set look a little bit more uh, like celestial, kind of like a, kind of like I'm a god or something. I don't know. So 
yeah that's pretty much it let me know what you guys think in the comments below i absolutely loved this set or all of these sets these sets were fun as fuck to do let me know what you guys think again again show me your looks on instagram or twitter i'll have the I'll have the ads in the comments below, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. If you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets, links are in the description below. I always say this, but again, my links are in the description below. So if you guys want to show me your looks, the links are in the description. So if I forget to put them on the comments, they will be in the links uh, or in the description. So be safe and I'll see you guys later.